In other news, Iran is set to go to polls on March 1st. Elections will be held for a 290-member parliament and 88-member assembly of experts. The assembly is a key body responsible for selecting the Islamic Republic's supreme leader. The election comes against a backdrop of economic crisis triggered by international sanctions and widespread protests against the Israel-Hamas war. At least 59,000 polling stations will be set up across the country and around 61 million Iranians are eligible to vote in this election. Fearful of a low voter turnout, officials including the Iran's supreme leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei have been urging people to vote in the upcoming polls. On Wednesday, the 84-year-old leader addressed the first-time voters, warning that Iran's enemies will threaten the security in one way or the other if the citizens fail to cast their vote in large numbers. Khamenei is expected to be first to cast his ballot at 8 a.m. local time on March 1st. But the poll shows a majority of people are indifferent towards the elections. In Iran, candidates can only contest for polls after being vetted by the Guardian Council. And this time, 15,200 hopefuls have been approved out of nearly 49,000 applicants for parliamentary seats. While 144 candidates have been approved to run for seats in the Assembly, Iran's present parliament is dominated by conservatives and ultra-conservatives, and experts say that the coming elections will also produce a similar result. This is because reformist candidates have not been allowed to contest polls altogether. Former President Hassan Rouni earlier said that he has been barred from seeking re-election. Former President Mohammad Khatami also said that this month Iran is very far from free and competitive elections. A coalition of parties called the Reform Front has also said that it would not take part in quote-unquote meaningless, non-competitive and ineffective elections.